absolutely nothing you have goes on or in or over or under or through this fence. Hmm. Well, thanks for ruining that for me. Okay, we're not. All right. Now, normally I would say, well, we can just leave. However, the problem. Suddenly you feel an uncomfortable twinge. The twinge grows into a pang. The pang grows into a pain in the wang. Then there's this oh. bursting and dying sensation. Didn't your mother ever teach you not to go out in the rain without wearing your lubbers? The lady upstairs is a human petri dish. Uh, oh, it's not going to let me skip it this time, I guess. Because this is technically the first time I've died since I had to restart. So, I don't think I had, like, a condom or anything. He's alive. Alive. That's some fast-acting acting STDs. Holy shit. And pretty devastating as well. Normally, you just get the itchies or red bumps, but death. It's unfortunate. So, I'm assuming I don't have the hammer now? No, I still... Okay, so I still have the hammer. So, I died and came back. So, I guess sometimes that's just okay. Can I eat this apple? This is for me. Well, how nice. Thank me. I'm welcome. Here. This is for me. Well, uh, how I'm welcome. All right, all right. Can I read the magazine? Here. This is for me. Okay, well, that's just I'm when welcome. I hand stuff to myself. Okay. Roger that. Hmm. I don't wait a minute. Maybe I can go give it to the hooker. Can I? Kitty, you're kind of gross. I think I'm going to leave. Alright. I tried giving the drink to everybody in here. I tried giving it to the alcoholic. He wouldn't drink it. You Wait. Rap loudly on the Nogahide door. Yeah? What's the password? Damn it. I really wish you would remember this. You read off the uh, Yes, yes, yes. Oh yeah. Like <laughs> his face. Alright, was there anything I could use this on? Maybe I could give it to her. Maybe she'll take it. Unlike you, this person won't even touch your vodka. You slam down the shot of cheap booze, then with a flourish, break the glass on the floor. Pretty dramatic, huh? And it was all beautifully animated. Alright, so we've got... Oh, I missed what he was saying. But, um... Alright, so now we need to go back to Club 69, because we can give that chica... Hey, you! Someone in here been eating liver? Oh. Uh, it's... Fix our breath, because people are gonna bitch about it. Ah! Ah, minty fresh. Please don't leave that where some idiot in a white leisure suit is bound to step on it. Uh, oh <laughs> wait, what? There we go. I think kind of freaked out a little bit. Taxi, apples. apples that guy gets around. Apples. Guy gets around quickly. It's the taxi you just hailed, Larry. Have you been damaging? It's the taxi. No, I know. I'm trying to use it. It's no. God damn it! Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> taxi! All right, this time, please use the taxi. Where'll it be, pal? We will be going to Club 69 so fine. Next exit, Museum of Severe Tie Damage. Oh, that's my favorite one. All right, 19 bucks. Okay, we should be hopefully good to go on money. I kind of get the impression we're probably going to get robbed at some point and have to make our money back. Please don't make me show the card again. You're going to make me show it again. You're an ass. The bouncer takes the pass and scrutinizes it as closely as his overhanging brow will let him. Hmm, you're rap. Um, okay. Alright, alright. 
Welcome to Club C. Thank you. Shalom. Shalom. Mazel tov. Come on, get in there. Right this way. Yeah, I'm working on it. There we go. All right, let's find this girl and give her some chocolate love. Wait, doesn't really work, does it? Um, let's give her the card. Hey, you want a card to get into this club that, that really we're in? Doesn't interest me, Larry. If you don't know what I like, talk to me. I don't bite unless you ask nicely. Ah, uh, let's see. Chocolates. Oh, Larry, I just love candy. Oh, Larry, I just love your presence. Dance with me, you adorable fool. I love candy, bubblegum and taffy. Oh, yeah. About to show her my sweet ass moves. I love how he's about three feet tall. Go, John Travolta. Go. Dance like you're not a madman yet. Pretty sure she would have went through the roof. <laughs> God. White boy on the floor. Everybody gets a hail back. And the crowd goes wild. Nice jiggle physics. Larry, that was incredible. I've never done that with a man before. It what? was so exhilarating. Are you as turned on as I am? Always. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> that was coming. I hope. Then my answer is yes. Oh, God, yes. Yes, Larry, I will. You will what? Why, marry you, of course. After all, I could never be with a man who wasn't my husband. Only if we were together in the eyes of the entire world could I really give myself to you completely, utterly, heart, soul, and vagina. And uh, well, be a little bit I'll more vague. Two hundred dollars to reserve the honeymoon suite at Caesar's Palace. I'll wait for you here. Once you've got the money, we'll rush over to the wedding ready, and at long last, we can be husband and wife. Holy cow, Larry! It looks like your dreams are about to come true. She has a penis. Well, I had the money, so we're good to go. I'm too excited to talk, Larry. I want you so badly. I can understand that. That's probably how she'll get you, too. And as soon as you give me $200, I'll go reserve the honeymoon suite at Caesar's Palace. Then I'll meet you at the wedding. All right. She wants the wallet. Just like a woman. Am I right, guys? On your wallet. All right. $200. Thank you, my sweet. This can only go positively. Right now to reserve the honeymoon suite at Caesar's. Then I'll meet you at the wedding ready next to the casino. Don't be late, my love. All right, Gavin. hands you back your wallet, two hundred dollars lighter, and rushes off. Jiggle, Congratulations, jiggle, Larry. jiggle, You're jiggle, one step jiggle, closer to jiggle, jiggle, bliss. jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Okay, let's leave, and we will head to the wedding chapel. We're going to the chapel and enjoy your evening, sir or madam. Gonna get married. Going to the chapel. All right. Good thing I got all that money. Okay, the wedding chapel. Pretty sure she was going to Caesar's Palace. No sign ahead. Do not touch sign. Edges of sign sharp. That'll be sixteen bucks. Excuse me. Thanks, kid. I ain't your kid, pal. Let's go on in. Ah, oh, yeah. Standing at the ready at the She's wearing her room. wedding dress. Next to her is a man dressed like some sort of clergyman. Larry, we're all ready for you. We do have one little thing to take care of, though. It's $100 for the marriage certificate, the ceremony, and the decorations. The decorations are extra? If you're too cheap to spring for them, I'll just take them down. Larry, no decorations? No, no, leave them up. I'll... I'll take care of it. Of course you will, Larry. After all, how often does a man who isn't Larry King get married? <laughs> Hot dog. Now we're ready to knock this thing out. Hot dogs for Jesus! Finally! You all settle into basic position. A hush follows over the players at home. Merely beloved. <laughs> Sorry, let me restart that. Merely beloved. Jim? <laughs> Sorry, sweetie. You know how I get. Dearly beloved. 
We are gathered here today to get the feeling she's done this a few times. And this will mean blah 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 blah. Do you, Lance Lassiter, take this woman? It's Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer? I thought you said. Just go. Do you, Larry, Larry Laffer, take this woman? Blah, blah. Sickness and hell forsaken and the rest. I, I do. Do you, Fawn Forschwanger? Forschwanger? Take this man to be, <laughs> to be your blah, 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 honor and comfort and bail. Right. I, mean, I do. You've got the ring. I have to have another ring? No, no, no. I've already got the ring. Keep this thing moving. Then by the power invested in me, Jimmy Ted hereby declares you done and done. Congratulations. Pleasure doing business with you. I'm headed down to the wine cellar. It's inventory time again. <laughs> um. Employees only. I'm sure y'all understand. <laughs> wow. All this trick in the book. throws her arms around you and almost kisses you. Aww. Oh, Larry. That was almost sweet. Isn't it romantic? What's she talking about? Did something romantic happen here by mistake? I'll meet you at the honeymoon suite, Larry. Ready to give you my all. My everything. My very soul. Don't keep me waiting. Let's see scratches I can't wait today. To take advantage of you. She's not done with that yet? Well, congratulations, Larry. You're a married man. Time to get over to the honeymoon suite and hang a sign on the door. Jiggle. Gone jiggle, jiggle. 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 Okay. All right, let's head on out. Head to the honeymoon suite. Right next door. You're not done. All right, we walk, walk. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. And we'll use that. Uh, honeymoon suite was the fourth level, I believe. Yes. Go and switch our icon over to use. And use this elevator. Uh, four four. I'm pretty sure it was. C. Oh. Is that you? Larry? It Larry. show enough is. It sure is, baby. Come on in. I'm ready for you. Oh, I'm about to cut. All right. Never mind. I let the game make all the body jokes. You walk into oh, the what the suite. fuck? Your blushing bride is waiting for you. Hello, Larry. <laughs> You're here at last. Forgive me if I'm a little shy. I've never been with a man who meant so very, very much to me. Excellent. I absolutely want this picture framed in this butt-like frame in my bedroom. This would be the greatest thing I would have ever done. Which is, I guess, kind of sad, but hilarious at the same time. This 1965 Cat McMullen sculpture is entitled, I told you I didn't want to try that tonight. <laughs> this ornate mirror has very faint gold lettering at the bottom, reading number five in Horn Dog series. Wow, how did they know? A brand new chair sits at the counter. The chairs of this room have to be replaced regularly due to breakage. Is it a coincidence that this cactus is an angiosperm? There's a box of tissues on the counter. This was back before they were impregnated with aloe or lotion, when a tissue wasn't afraid to be a tissue. Coincidentally, this painting is called Number Four in Horn Dog series. It's one of those replica old-timey radios. Look, you can see the Lost Wages Mall from up here. It's got over 40 great shops and boutiques, including Go and Postal, Urban Counterfeiters, Ear Infection, Pagoda, Poetry Barn, Old Naval, and Things Remaindered. Remaindered. The heart-shaped bed was invented by Dr. Christopher Hong in 1928, with the assistance of his conjoined twin, Mongo. Mongo-like. Fawn is watching you expectantly. Expecting me to save? Damn right. Let's show her my Pinor. Larry, that's so unromantic. A lady likes a smooth approach. Remember that. But you're married. You'll never need to approach another woman again. Right? Huh. 
Show her the helicopter spin. That's always uh, want get some wanting more, more police protection, I guess. Not now, Larry. I need music. Okay, let's turn on the radio then. You the... tweak the radio dial. Uh, there's nothing but static on this station. It's like... one of those replica. Yeah, all right, all right. It's one of those replica. Damn it! The controls are a little wonky sometimes. You tweak sometimes. the radio dial. There's nothing but static on this station. You tweak the radio dial. There's nothing but static on. Jeez, why can't they make a radio that gets stations at all these little numbers? We'll be back to our commercial oh, free four-hour Barbara Streisand marathon. Oh after God! This commercial message. I don't understand that. How many times has this happened to you? You've just gotten married, and you forgot to get the perfect bottle of wine for your honeymoon. Don't ask the hotel to send up their finest bottle of rotten, overpriced garbage. Don't settle for trashy boxed wine they sell at the convenience store. The taxi driver will probably drink it all, and you'll end that up in a fiery crash. <laughs> Don't let that happen to you. <laughs> Call Snappy Liquors. We deliver anywhere, and in five minutes or less. How do we do it? That's what I'd like to know. Simple. We buy in bulk and pass the savings on to you. That doesn't answer the question. So call now, 555-8039. That's 555-8039. Liquor quick with Snappy Liquors. And now, oh, wow. back to more Barbara. Fawn turns off the radio. Thank you. Go order us some of that wine, Larry. Please? It'll make everything absolutely perfect for our, you know. Canubial joining. That's so romantic. Right away, dearest. Hmm, so we need to get wine. You run your finger over the wall, but no dirt comes off. How nice. It's been dusted for your protection. Careful, don't prick yourself. Oh, man. The puns are everywhere. All right, so we need to get to a phone. But I don't know the number for that place. Uh. Damn it, Larry, why can't you have a cell phone? What deck are you in, for God's sakes? Pretty sure there wasn't. Oh, thank God, a human being. Come, join us. How you doing tonight? Okay. All right, I didn't want your whole life story. Thank you. Wow, there's a show going. Larry, keep your voice down. Wow, there's a show going. Can I continue now? Thank you. The last guy says, I know, let's buy a box of tampons. We all look at him like, what? Why would we buy a box of tampons? He says, hey, it says right on the commercials, if you've got tampons, you can go horseback riding and play tennis and go water skiing. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Wow. It's easy to kid. Hey, sir, do I come to your job and interrupt you while you're sucking out the porta potties? Now I lost my train of thought. It's easy to kid. Hey, 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 he's on the clock. No breaking into discussion groups. Right, Chaz? That's all he ever says to me. Which reminds me, can you imagine how it's going to be some. Is that going to be hell on wheels or what? Listening to everyone's private conversations, phones ringing all over the place all the time? If that ever happens, just kill me, all right? Can I continue now? Thank you. He's talking about cell phones, but I cut him off. Speaking of which, please don't forget to tip your waitresses, if you ever find any. I think there's a walkout. So, yeah, drunk people. This drunk guy walks into a bar, and the bartender says, I'm sorry, sir, you're drunk. I'm not serving you tonight. He looks like he's on says, something, and he probably I is. But whatever it is, here. it's I'm not the high of laughter darts. and applause. So he picks up the darts, and one, two, three, makes three bullseyes in a row. He says, I got three in a row. What do I win? And the bartender looks around for something to give him. And under the bar, in a shoebox, he's got a turtle that he found that he was going to give his son that night. And he thinks, ah, oh, what the hell? And he gives the turtle in the box to the drunk, who staggers out happy. A few months later, the drunk staggers in again, picks up three darts, and makes three bullseyes again. He says, I got three in a row again. What do I win this time? The bartender only vaguely remembers the whole thing and says, I don't know. What did I give you last time? And the drunk says, last time you gave me a roast beef on a hard roll. Dude, don't laugh at that. 